Hey guys, so before we get into this video, I wanted to let you know that Absolute Drift is out on the PC and the PlayStation 4 now. You can check it out at the link in the description down below. If you're a fan of Forza Horizon 3, it might be pretty interesting to you. It's a game where the whole point of the game is just put cars sideways and get a bunch of points. It's pretty fun. Check it out. What's going on today, guys? Today we have week six of the Forza Horizon 3 car announcement. We are getting so close to this car list being 100% complete. We're like a month away from release. I am so excited and I'm running on like three hours of sleep today. If you follow me on Twitter, I went to California for all of 24 hours, which took 12 hours of flying back and forth. I'm running on like three hours of sleep today. So uh, apologies if I'm a little bit tired in today's video. So before we get into this video, I just want to correct something that I said in the week five video. I said last time because uh, Ralph Fulton in an interview, he said one of the super secret cars coming to Forza Horizon 3 is going to be a car that was never drivable. And I said, okay, Warthog, that's the only car that's never been drivable. Turns out, it's not. There's a Bentley 8 liter, also in Forza, Hori Forza 4, that was undrivable. So it was the Warthog and the Bentley. So either of those could be it. So it should be pretty cool, even though I want the Warthog more. So yeah, quick little thing you guys told me in the comments. So thanks to all you guys, I completely forgot about the Bentley. So as with every week, we've got some new screenshots to take a look at. And this one's not actually a screenshot. So... This one is a Lumi Craft Class 10 race car. It's a 2015, and it's basically just like a, a, a dune buggy on steroids. I don't know anything about it. It looks pretty cool. It's blue in the picture I see here, and it looks like an off-road beast, so that's good. So obviously that's not a screenshot, so we can't really talk about that. But the next one does have a screenshot, and this is called the Super... Deluxe station wagon built by Ford in 1946 and boy is it cool. This thing is pretty awesome for a couple of reasons. It's got more wood than a dog humping a leg. And two, it has a surfboard on the roof, which is more wood, which some of you may enjoy. So in this particular screenshot, I don't know exactly what's going on. But it looks to be like a car meet, sort of. You got like the you got like the super deluxe station wagon, best name for a car ever, just parked up there. Then you've got like a, a Holden and another Holden and some other dune buggy all the way in the background. I don't really know what that is, but it looks pretty cool. Actually saying that, it might be the Myers Manx, possibly. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what that is. And other than that, there's like a cool house in the background, and that's about it, really, that you can tell from this screenshot. So, anyways, wooden things are awesome. But what about three wheelers? Yeah. So obviously we have the Polaris Slingshot, which is good. It's cool, but it's drivable. We have the I Set a Bubble Car, which is, I mean, a four wheeler, but it acts like a three wheeler. A little less drivable than the Polaris Slingshot. But what about this sort of mix of both? A proper three wheeler that is undrivable. If you said Reliant, you're going to be happy. There's a Reliant Super Van Mark III in Forza Horizon 3 now, which is pretty cool. It's from 1972, and it just looks so cool, man. We got ourselves a Reliant. I am so excited. I am, I'm so pumped. Just, just look at it. I don't know why this person is taking it off road. The, um, the size of their testicles must be massive because they're gonna roll and die, probably, but they're, they don't care. But as for the screenshot, we can't really tell very much. We're in the Australian Outback slash Fields place where we, where we saw our gameplay video from a couple days ago but it looks so cool. Also, it's got a roof rack, so bonus points from the Subaru fanboy. And let's jump into the other cars that don't actually have screenshots. So I've got the list in front of me. Let's see what's in here. We have an Alfa Romeo Giulia TZ2. It's a pretty cool name. We have a 2016 Audi R8 V10 Plus, always good. We have what was the most expensive car in probably just about every Forza game, the Ferrari 250 GTO. We've got one of my personal favorites, the Cobra R. We also have another one of my personal favorites, one of my, probably my favorite supercar ever, hypercar thing ever, the Lamborghini LP670. Oh, I'm happy to have that in the game. Continuing along the lines of my perfect cars, Lotus Esprit V8, always good. If you're a fan of going quite quickly in something quite amazing, We've got ourselves a CLK GTR. We have a little MG Metro, which is like a crazy rally car that's super, super fast and just 
That's gonna be awesome. We have uh, Sylvia, we've got some Skylines, some GTRs, uh, another Sylvia, Noble M600, another car on the list for me. This is like my, my, my list. This would be, if I made Forza, this would be it. I'm just going through this list. It's like, that's one of my favorite cars. That's one of my, <gasps> an Ultimate GTR and there's a Subaru and a Rolls Royce Dawn. Forza, I've said this every single week. But this week, I'm not going to say it because this car, we, this car, this cars, these cars that were announced today are so good. I'm not going to mention the thing I've mentioned in every other video. Y you've done okay. That is an incredible car list right there. As always, I will link to everything, all of the cars coming out for Forza Horizon 3. Everything that's been announced so far in the description down below. And you guys can check it out for yourself. We don't know what's coming next, if there's going to be a week seven or whatnot. But this car list is shaping up to just be incredible. I am really, really excited for this game. We've got a month before it releases. Oh, I'm so pumped, man. I am so pumped. Anyways, guys, if you are excited as I am for this game, check out the gameplay I posted last week. I'll include a link for that in the description down below where we just checked out some Forza Horizon 3 gameplay of a Nissan 240SX just drifting through the night. It looked awesome. Super excited. Subscribe if you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.